In general relativity, curvature invariants are a set of scalars formed from the Riemann, Weyl and Ricci tensors, which represent curvature, hence the name, and possibly operations on them such as contraction, covariant differentiation and dualization. Certain invariants formed from these curvature tensors play an important role in classifying spacetimes. Invariants are actually less powerful for distinguishing locally non-isometric Lorentzian manifolds than they are for distinguishing Riemannian manifolds. This means that they are more limited in their applications than for manifolds endowed with a positive definite metric tensor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Principal invariants. The principal invariants of the Riemann and Weyl tensors are certain quadratic polynomial invariants i.e., sums of squares of components. The principal invariants of the Riemann tensor of a four-dimensional Lorentzian manifold are the Kreshman scalar k 1 equals r a b c d r a B C D display style k underscore one equals r underscore a b c d r caret a b c d the Chern Pontryagin scalar k two equals r a b c d r a b c D display style k underscore two equals caret star r underscore a b c d r caret a b c d the Euler scalar k three equals r a b c d r a b c d Display style k underscore three equals caret star r caret star underscore a b c d r caret a b c d. These are quadratic polynomial invariants, sums of squares of components. Some authors define the Chern-Pontryagin scalar using the right dual instead of the left dual. The first of these was introduced by Eric Kreshman. The second two names are somewhat anachronistic, but since the integrals of the last two are related to the instanton number and Euler characteristic respectively, they have some justification. The principal invariants of the Weyl tensor are I 1 equals C A B C D C A B C D display style i underscore one equals c underscore a b c d c caret a b c d i two equals c a b c d c a b c d Display style i underscore two equals caret star c underscore a b c d c caret a b c d because c a b c d equals minus c a b c d Display style caret star c caret star underscore a b c d equals c underscore a b c d. There is no need to define a third principal invariant for the Weyl tensor. Topic: Relation with Ricci decomposition. As one might expect from the Ricci decomposition of the Riemann tensor into the Weyl tensor plus a sum of fourth-rank tensors constructed from the second-rank Ricci tensor and from the Ricci scalar, these two sets of invariants are related in D equals 4 k 1 equals i 1 plus 2 r a b r a B minus one 
three R two Display style k underscore one equals i underscore one plus two r underscore ab r caret ab frac one three r caret two k three equals minus i one plus two r a b r a b minus two three R two Display style K underscore three equals I underscore one plus two R underscore ab R carrot ab FRAC two three R carrot two Topic Relation with Bell decomposition In four dimensions, the Bell decomposition of the Riemann tensor, with respect to a timelike unit vector field x, VEC x, not necessarily geodesic or hypersurface orthogonal, consists of three pieces: the electrogravitic tensor E x a b equals R a m B N X M X N Display style E VEC X underscore ab equals R underscore A M B N X carrot M X carrot N The magnetogravitic tensor B X A B equals R A M B N X M X N display style B V E C X underscore ab equals carrot star R underscore A M B N X carrot M X carrot N the topographic tensor L X A B equals R A M B N X M X N Display style L VEC X underscore ab equals carrot star R carrot star underscore A M B N X carrot M X carrot N because these are all transverse, i.e., projected to the spatial hyperplane elements orthogonal to our timelike unit vector field, they can be represented as linear operators on three dimensional vectors, or as three by three real matrices. They are respectively symmetric, traceless, and symmetric 6, 8, 6 linearly independent components, for a total of 20. If we write these operators as E, B, L respectively, the principal invariants of the Riemann tensor are obtained as follows. K 1 4 display style k underscore 1 4 is the trace of e2 plus l2 2 bbt minus k 2 8 display style k underscore 2 8 is the trace of b e l k 3 8 display style k underscore 3 8 is the trace of EL, B2. Topic. Expression in Newman Penrose formalism In terms of the whale scalars in the Newman Penrose formalism, the principal invariants of the whale tensor may be obtained by taking the real and imaginary parts of the expression I 1 minus I I, I Two equals sixteen three psi two two plus psi zero psi four minus four psi one psi three Display style i underscore one i i underscore two equals sixteen left three psi underscore two carrot two plus psi underscore zero psi underscore four minus four psi underscore one psi underscore three right. 
but note the minus sign. The principal quadratic invariant of the Ricci tensor R A B R A B display style R underscore ab R caret ab may be obtained as a more complicated expression involving the Ricci scalars. See the paper by Cherubini et al. cited below. Topic. Distinguishing Lorentzian manifolds An important question related to curvature invariance is when the set of polynomial curvature invariants can be used to locally distinguish manifolds. To be able to do this is necessary to include higher order invariants including derivatives of the Riemann tensor but in the Lorentzian case, it is known that there are spacetimes which cannot be distinguished, e.g., the VSI spacetimes for which all such curvature invariants vanish and thus cannot be distinguished from flat space. This failure of being able to distinguishing Lorentzian manifolds is related to the fact that the Lorentz group is non-compact. There are still examples of cases when we can distinguish Lorentzian manifolds using their invariants. Examples of such are fully general Petrov type 1 spacetimes with no killing vectors, see Coley et al., below. Indeed, it was here found that the spacetimes failing to be distinguished by their set of curvature invariants are all Kunt spacetimes. See also Bach tensor, for a sometimes useful tensor generated by I 2 display style I underscore 2 via a variational principle. Carmanati McLennigan invariance, for a set of polynomial invariants of the Riemann tensor of a four dimensional Lorentzian manifold which is known to be complete under some circumstances. Curvature invariant, for curvature invariants in a more general context.